It is Monday morning and I am about to shower and head into the office, but something terrible just happened. I just got my first copyright takedown or monetization from a audio author. So I spend a lot of time trying to make sure that I use uncopyrighted music in this vlog, but for some reason they thought that this song that I found was copyrighted. So I'm gonna try out the YouTube Erase feature to try and pull the music out, because um, I'd love to leave the content in and I'd love to not monetize it. But if it doesn't work or if it doesn't sound good, then I'm gonna turn on monetization and people are gonna have to deal with ads for a little while. Sorry about that. Oh well, we have to deal with situations like this, especially when you're on the internet. I'm still so jazzed about our new planter. It's looking really good. And apparently the plants are gonna come back within a week or two, as well as the grass that was dead over there. The big remaining problem is that we actually have drainage issues. So the water and the grading is not right. And so we're gonna be putting in a drainage pipe there and over there in order to improve the drainage of our yard. It doesn't rain a ton in San Francisco or in the Bay Area, but we want to be ready if it does. I just checked the calendar to make sure that I'm mentally prepared for all that the day has to offer. I've got seven meetings this morning. I am about to go live for Vin's stage.community group. So here is my setup. Got my Facebook live stream ready to go. Got the camera set up, my TV preview. Who's listening to me a couple times. She hasn't said too many terrible things about me, so should be so all set. I'm about to do a stage community presentation. It's a three minute presentation where you practice things like pitch, you practice cadence, volume, rate of speech, pauses, all these sorts of things. And this is my first challenge. This is challenge number four. I'm gonna insert right after this the video that you have to do. So the difference between this video is I actually have to do it live. This little piece of glass that I have right here is a very rare piece of glass. There were only about 5,000 of these ever made. I picked this up in 2012. I had just flown from where I lived at the time, Minnesota, up to California for a big technology conference. This technology conference was called Google I.O. and this was a chance for the company to announce all sorts of crazy new projects, all sorts of crazy new products. And it was a really exciting conference for all the attendees. So we're there sitting in the keynote room at the beginning of the conference. And they're announcing products and cool new phones and all sorts of great new technology. And the room has this really cool spirit about it. Everyone's on this high of excitement about kind of what does the future look like for all of us and how can we help understand it and get ahead of those things. But then the tone of the entire conference changed a little bit. About an hour into the keynote, the CEO comes out and says, Everything you've seen so far was very polished. What you're about to see isn't ready, isn't polished, but let me show you, I'm so excited to share this. And so he turned around and the big screen behind the stage changed into what felt like a TV. The video cut live to above the Moscone Center where we were sitting. It was a live video feed from a few folks that are sitting inside a helicopter. They were all wearing this piece of technology called Google Glass that they were announcing and they were saying, hey, this is what it can do. And so we're watching a live feed from people sitting inside a helicopter almost a mile above us. And at that point, they jump out of the plane while still live streaming and we get to watch what it's like to skydive onto the venue in downtown San Francisco. Not only do they, they do that, but then they cross across the building once they land on BMX bikes, rappel down the side. And at this moment, this was really exciting television because we're all just watching it on the stage. But then they burst into the room that we're actually sitting in. On BMX bikes, they cross all the way across the entire room. And I'm literally five feet away from these people on their BMX bikes, wearing Google Glass, seeing them both in person and live on the video, seeing their live footage, seeing everything from their perspective. This keynote was one of the most exciting things I'd ever seen. And the moment that the keynote ended, I walked straight out into the conference and I put down my reservation for Google, Google Glass. So this piece of technology didn't ultimately end up becoming the consumer thing that I think some people thought it would be. But for me, this was a real turning point because this was the point at which I changed from being just a tech user into an early adopter and an expert. 
by signing up early for Google Glass, by signing up to become an explorer of these new technologies, I actually became on the forefront of technology, not only using it, but exploring the ways that it could change our lives and exploring the ways that we could all become better through technology. And that's had a huge impact on my career and made me who I am today and given me the career that I have today. I've gotten all sorts of really nice feedback already from the Facebook Live post that I did, so thank you, Stage Community. Thank you, Google Glass. Why does that make you happy that I signed a new sugar pack? I think it makes you happy, and I think you know a lot of people. Steph and I just worked on the data model for her beauty based project. We got a long way. Hopefully, I've unblocked her so that she can continue developing. One of the exercises from Vin's speaking workshop was to take children's books and read them where you exaggerate the pitch, the rate of speech, the pauses, the volume, the tone, and you, the use of staccato or legato. So Seth and I just read The Cat and the Hat to each other, which was a lot of fun.